So guys, what do you want to do today? Is that an SML reference? Yeah, I'm just so bored. Oh, there's nothing here to do today. Yeah, wait, okay, hold up. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to fart. Lloyd, did you just fart in my house? Uh, yes. Well, let me go get the vacuum. Wait, what? I'm just going to suck all the farts out of you. Wait, what's even going on? <sighs> Bonnie, do you know what's going on? Yeah, it turns out that Lobe in the Jago has a really anti-farting policy in, in, in his establishment. So yeah, if you ever were to fart in, this, in the Lobe Mansion, he had to get a vacuum to suck the rest of the farts out of you. <laughs> Bonnie, do you know where the vacuum is? Um, I don't know. Did, weren't you the one last one who used it? Um, no, I wasn't. We all the... Ha! <laughs> there. Wait a minute. A little bit. If you... Wait a minute. How am I not allowed to safar in this place, but you are? Listen, it's my house. I can do whatever I want. You guys, I don't want you guys thinking of your, my house with your farts. So that is why I can, I'm allowed to fart, and you aren't. Well, doesn't that seem be pretty hypo like hypocritical? Hippo what now? Hypocritical. Look, I'm not critic of hippos. So wait, I, Bonnie, or Lolbet are now allowed to, to fart in, the, in your house? Yep, you guys aren't allowed to fart in the Lobby Mansion. That's one of the rules. But you are allowed to fart. Yeah, so what? Well, I, I was just feeling that, th that... That seems pretty hypocritical that you, we can't fart, but you can. Look, this is my house. I, I make up the rules. You guys don't make up the rules. Which is why uh, the rule doesn't apply to me. Anyway, since you can't find the vacuum... <laughs> ah, there we go. Sorry, I just had to make my room some room for my lunch. Bonnie, you just did that to smite me. Oh, oh my god, it smells! Uh, uh, oh, <coughs> oh, I can't breathe at it. See, this is why I have a strict anti-farting policy in the Lobby Mansion. Because you guys take up the house! Because A, it ruins the experience of visitors, uh, even though visitors aren't really allowed to visit my house, but if visitors do visit my house, then it's going to ruin their experience, because all they're going to be smelling is they aren't going to be smelling all the candles and perfumes. No, they're going to be smelling your farts. Lolbet Ninjago. Lolbet. We need you for something urgent. Listen, not right now, guys. Listen, if, if you... If you make up a rule that says nobody's allowed to fart in your house, and people start farting in your house, is that even allowed? That's all right. We no, no time for questions. We need your help. With help? With what? There's a new threat attacking attacking the multiverse, and we need your guys' help. Well, can, can Lloyd and Bonnie? Like, we should probably call Team Fazbear's. No, that is not necessary. We just need you and Lil Bet. Uh, all right then. Come on, little bet. Like, you sure you guys don't want the rest of us to help, Master Hand and Crazy Hand? We are certain. <sighs> Alright, Master Hand and Crazy Hand, where's the threat? Where is he? Huh? What the? What's going on? Welcome, Freelers, to the annual Multiversal Tournament. You see, every 100 years, Master Carne and King Kamido have a ranking to see which Earths are better than the other Earths. Here are the rankings from last century's tournament. Earth 8 has won the previous tournament. Follow that by Earth 10. And then there's us. So hey, you drag this out of homes and off our worlds, like possibly leaving them defenseless from any threat that threatens them, just so that we can watch some tournament? You're not just watching the tournament, you're gonna be participating in the tournament. But since you are our most strongest warriors, you have the opportunity to help us win this tournament. When there's two avatars left standing, King Kamido chooses an Earth and their, con and their champion, and have that Earth's champions compete against the two remaining avatars that are left. And it means of having the mortals attempt to best the gods. But so far, no mortal has attempted, have never made an attempt to win a, in a battle against an avatar. Until today. We've never been able to compete because we've never had powerful mortals until now with you two. Sold up, you want us to compete against gods? If we are chosen, 
And if we're not chosen, then, then other poor souls might be able to lose against an avatar. Unless it's Earth 13, of course. But why exactly us? Like, why do we have to participate? Because you two are one of the strongest mortals ever in the multiverse. So you two are the best shots that we got in order to be able to best an avatar. But you told me that the avatars are beyond, like, both of us. Like, they're more powerful than both me and Lolbit. Yes, but we have that, you have that secret trump card of yours. Right, Lolbit? X? Right, I guess I do have Lolbit X. So I have faith that in this year's tournament, we'll be able to win. Yeah, but you're quite confident for somebody who ranks third on that list of the avatar ranking system. Yes, of course. With this form, they won't be able to see me coming. <laughs> Ow! Hey, what was that? I thought you were supposed to dodge my attacks with that form. Well, yeah. I... Which is exactly what you'll be going up against in that tournament. If you're to fight either Naka or Neo. Right, so I understand the strategy. I used Hyper Forced, and then Mastered Ultra Instinct. Don't be ahead of yourself, Lolbit. Naka is very powerful. I've trained with her before, and she is no pushover. I don't want you to get destroyed by her out there. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Wait, what? Quiet, you two. The tournament is about to begin. King Kamido is about to, to announce to commence the tournament. Greetings, everyone. Greetings, all inhabitants of the world of the avatars. My name is King Komodo, and I'll, I'll be hosting this century's Elemental Avatar Tournament. Spectating with me will be Master Carne, Whiskers and Void, and Whiskers' beautiful assistant, Kathy Drake. Yeah, I know. I am so gorgeous. I wish all of you the best of luck, including the last century's tournament. Wait a minute, Kathy's here too? Yeah, she's a god, duh. Yes, this will actually be her second a a elemental avatar tournament. Wait a minute, so you're saying that she's over 100 years old? She didn't tell you specifically when, sh when Whiskers had recruited her. Yeah, but she's over a century? Wow, she, she's th she looks so young. I'd figure she would be like... 25 or in her 30s or but wow my girlfriend is over a century years old and for the first time in a thousand years our tournament will be spectated by a source dragon i wish you all the best of luck elemental avatars source dragon and just like the other years we're giving mortals a chance to participate in the tournament and be able to compete against the elemental avatars. It looks like for Earth 1, they finally have gotten some strong mortals. Yeah, you can say that for now at least. Now we'll be randomly picking at least one Earth to have the mortals participate against the two remaining elemental avatars. Alright, going to randomly choose... Any mini money mo catch a tag of bite though if you all them go any mini money mo my mother told me to pick the very best one or it. Well Master Hand and Crazy Hand, looks like your mortals are going to participate against the final two participants. Aw oh, man dude, I was hoping that we'd participate in this century's tournament. Well if you guys are lucky, you guys will get next century's tournament. Now, to send down the elemental avatars down into the arena. To begin the first round of the tournament, Inferior Hand versus Mecha Hand. Hey Naka, you ready to get destroyed in this year's century's tournament just like the last century? <laughs> oh please, Neo, don't make me blush. You know I've been keeping up with my training for the past century. So have I, and I still remain number one in the Avatar ranking. Well, I would be cocky if I were you, Neo. Naka, can you... It's just a tournament. Just a tournament? Psh, I've been training for decades for this century's tournament. And no way am I going to let some show off take my thunder this time. You said that a century ago, and another century ago, and another century ago. Yet, I still remain on top, Naka. Can you guys give me a moment to be able to think? 
I need to put some final adjustments on with the repairs for Mecha Hand. Oh yeah, Amelia Everhart, like your Mecha Hand's going to do anything against me. Shut up, bro, you never train. Of course I do train, Briss. I, I, I train. When have you last trained? Um, I honestly do not know, but I have tr been training, alright? Toki, yeah, you keep telling yourself that, Tori. Wait a minute, what did exactly that one avatar called? That Mecha Amelia Everhart? Yeah, every once in a while, avatars go down to Earth 1 to like have a little vacation and take like an alias or something. Like, Mecha told me the story, like, she went down to, to Earth 1, like, under the alias of M Amelia Everhart, and became the first woman to ever, tr to have a fly a plane across the Atlantic. And when it was almost time for her to, like, go back to Earth 5, she faked going missing, so that way, she could go back to Earth 5. She even kept the plane and everything. Yeah, but, I don't know, but participating against gods? Like, doesn't that seem kind of unfair? Come on, it's a tradition. And besides, if you don't want to participate, then we could just turn your planet and make, make it its habitants and uh, disappear. Just like we did to that one colony back in the 1500s. Like, what was it called, Crazy Hand? Like, Roanoke? Yeah, I knew the one who, who wanted to write that ancient avatar language on a tree on at Roanoke. Yeah, I almost forgot the words I even wrote. Like, Cronation or something. Wait, Croatian? Like, what do you mean, Croatian? Oh yeah, it's the ancient avatar language. Like, it's the ancient avatar word of give racked scrub. Boom. Yeah, that colony did not have some good food. Now, let's wait for the first round to start. Round one, begin. <laughs> Yay! Good job, Mecha Hand. Good job. How powerful is Inferior Hand? Oh, just at your base. I'm gonna get destroyed out there. Okay then, on to the next round. Rad versus a Sockeye. Be safe out there, honey. Oh, don't worry, Liz. I'm going to go out this champion a tournament. And then our kids are going to know that I, their father, Rad, is the one that won the Century's Avatar Tournament. Oh, just because I've lived for thousands of hundreds of thousands of years old doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you just because you're a youngin. And what do exactly do the mortal children call it? Getting schooled? Well then, time for class to begin, Rad. Uh, you'll wish, old man. We'll show you why Earth 11 is superior than all your other Earths. Che! <laughs> che! Uh, I'm getting too old for this. Ugh. And just like that, Rad had won that round. You did get out there, sweetie. Thanks, Liz. Earth 11 for the win. I lost. You know, maybe it was right that you start actually retire and look for another apprentice. Yeah, I'm getting too old for that. How long do we have to wait? Until there are two contestants left. Alright, got it. Next round, Lilith. Versus Naka. Oh boy, I am so pumped. Let me at him. Let me at her. Lilith, little sister, I might remind you that you haven't been training much lately. You know, you are very out of shape, little sis. Hey, I could be like a sumo wrestler. Very durable and, and more weight means I, I'll, it'll be tough for him to take me down. Alright, Lilith, I'm not going to argue with you, little sis. All right, Naka, prepare to be destroyed. Um, hi. Cha. Please not the gut. Please not the not the gut. Ow, my face. Thanks for not aiming for my stomach. Wanna win around, Lilith? Maybe next time actually listen to your sister's request and finally going on a diet. Hey, I'm not. What are you saying? I'm fat? I'm not fat. I'm big bone. Next round burrito versus Tori. Do good out of the burrito. I will Neo. 
How did I even win? All right, next round. Oh, all right, that was quick. Next round, Neo versus Amy. All right, Neo, you wouldn't hit a woman now, would you? Well, let me think. I hit a woman last century's tournament, and the century before that's tournament, and the century before that's tournament. So yeah, so I'd say I'm not afraid. Especially against an elemental avatar of creation like you. Oh. Next round, Master Hand versus Liz. Wow, like these rounds are going by so fast. How exactly do they usually last? Oh, I'd say like about like a minute or so. Minute or so, and this time is gonna go by quick. Well, not until like the the strongest avatars start fighting. It t Come on, Master Hand, just let me win. I d me and Brad got two kids cheering for us. Well, at least you have somebody taking care of them. Hit Peek of what will be going up against in the tournament when there's two comp participants left. Right. Alright. Now on to the next round Drip Hand versus Mecca. <laughs> Kyle versus Crazy Hand. <laughs> <laughs> Toki versus Rose. <laughs> Alright, Rose, you can give up any time you want. I don't care. Yeah, as if, Toki. <laughs> oh, I wonder when halftime is. <sighs> it looks like Toki wins. Now on to the next round. <laughs> Another L to the girls. Well, except me, of course. You know you're eventually going to lose to Neo, you know. Hey, don't worry. Like the, like the boys love me. Everyone here thinks I'm so gorgeous. Well, yeah, but not until they know about that secret son of yours that you had with that mortal named Professor Lalston. How do you know about James? Who? Now on to the next round. Oh, that must be my turn. Several moments later. All right, folks. Here are the Avatar rankings so far. Now, on to the semi-final rounds, where the two strongest avatars must fight against some of the mortals from the, from the multiverse. First round will be Naka vs. Lalpin and Drago. Second round will be Neo vs. Lalbet. Will these mortals be strong enough to be able to battle, to be able to defeat against the gods? We'll find out. Time! Alright, Naka, time for you to go down. Oh, I won't get too cocky about that, mortal. Let the games begin. All right. Let's -a go. <sighs> yeah, Naka. Yeah, hoo hoo. Yeah. 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 Hey, Naka! Yeah. Tch! I'm not done yet! <laughs> Come on, one minute now, short defenses are going to be down, and it'll be giving me the perfect time to strike! 
Wait, hold, hold it. Hmm? I, um, either he just teleported away, or Naka just completely disintegrated him, um... Huh? What the? <sighs> well, looks like the fight's continuing on with folks. Oh, thank God he's okay. Destruction Flash! Shit. Do this for Earth One. Don't disappoint us, Freeler. Shit. Seems kind of foolish that you're using the powers of an angel in order to beat an avatar of destruction. <clears throat> you're right. You're right that I'm foolish of using the powers of an angel against the, uh, the little controllers of destruction. Just accept that a mortal can never be on the level of a god. By using the powers of a god, you're basically at your limit. Oh please. I have no limit. <laughs> Master Hand, are you seeing this? Yes, Crazy Hand, I am indeed seeing exactly what you are seeing right now. What the... the those forms... It, he didn't. What the... What even is this transformation anyways? Your power level has increased twice the amount. What even is this form? Oh, just a little gift from Vegeta and Goku. With enough mental training, I was able to combine the likes of Ultra Ego with Ultra Instinct. So I could still dodge your attacks, but every single damage that you inflict on me will only get me stronger. Now, let's have a feast! Had enough? Have I had enough? Not even close. <laughs> he wasn't lying when he said that he, he would get stronger every every damage I inflict on him. If I keep on trying to inflict damage on him, then I'll only make him stronger, and soon, eventually, he's going to surpass me. <sighs> I can't let that happen. He's probably already at Master Hand's level. My only strategy is I have to immobilize him. Make sure that his injuries aren't fatal. I need to concentrate all of my energy into my punches. Both my punches and my kicks. Not powerful enough to kill the guy, but at least powerful enough to immobilize him. Like breaking his bones. <laughs> Back for more, I see. Well, give me all you got. I'm starving. Alright, just gotta look like it mean for his face. And now. <laughs> My leg. <laughs> you had enough, Freeler? 
<laughs> you think I'd need legs to be able to beat you up? I could do this all day. Oh, look at that. The knack is just going haymakers on Lopit's face. Lopit, get up, you idiot. Why are you even standing there and just lay and just taking all those punches? Oh, right. His legs are broken. Dang it. Jay. Duh! Did I win? You lost, Dimrod. Wait, I lost? How exactly did I lost? Wait a minute, my legs are better. You can thank me for that. Well, thanks, Master Hand. But wait, how exactly did she broke my legs? She caught you off guard, lol bit. Right, damn it, I was swindled. Now, if you excuse me, I got a fight with Neo to have. And I'm going to win. Good luck out there, lol bit. And break a leg, or break two legs for that matter. Now on to the final round, we have Neo, the strongest of all the avatars, versus Lol Bet. One of the most powerful mortals in the multiverse. I've heard how much you've grown a lot since we last encountered. Yeah, allow me to put all my power up on display for you. I can really sense your power. It's even stronger than Naka. If I had fought in her instead of Lolpit, then I would have definitely won. But I don't think it's go you're going to be even that difficult, Neo, my old friend. Fine then. Then bring it. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Come on, Lalbet, get up, get up. You better not disappoint your earth, Lalbet X. Huh? <laughs> Duh? Where did she? Do you yield? Do you yield? So this is how it's gonna be, Lord Fenix. Using the powers of gods to be a god. Uh, what's even the point? I'm winning this fight for mortals, Neo. Yeah, but with all that power, would you even be considered a mortal anymore? All that power? The, the beings you've absorbed? What even are you now, anyways? Oh. You're right, Neo. What even am I now? I am Lalbet. I'm a freeler from Earth-16. That's who I am. <laughs> uh, definitely worth it. Huh? It looks like Neo has officially won against Lol Bet, thus making him the winner of the Avatar Tournament the, for the fifth century in a row. Not too shabby, Neo. But I bet you that next century's tournament, I'm going to beat you this time. And I'm willing to count on it. Lol Bet, what the hell was that? What the hell was what? That! Why you just gave up like that? Hmm? I'm asking you, why did you forfeit the match? You got at least 10 seconds to explain yourself, mortal, or I will erase you. Crazy hand, settle down. She must have a more reasonable explanation for this. Did you guys heard what Neo said? With this power that I've gained, am I really a mortal anymore? You are Lil Bet, one of my closest and most dearest of friends. I'm not upset that we lost or anything. Cause it doesn't matter if we win or not. 
Competing in a sport is all about the fun. It's not about winning. It's about having fun. That's what games are all about. Yeah, I'm still a match you for losing, little bit. Come on, guys. Let's go home. I wonder what the others are doing. I'm hoping that they're not worried sick about us. 59 jars of peanut butter on the wall. 59 jars of peanut butter. Take one down, pass it around. You got 60 jars of peanut butter on the wall. 60 jars of peanut butter on the wall. 60 jars I of peanut butter. I am in hell. Take one down, pass it around. You got 61 jars of peanut butter like. on the wall. 61.